Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I was just reading here on 43Rumors.com. The headline here is New GH5 and GH5S firmware update is coming and will have C-AF fixes for video mode. It says as well as some additional enhancements for video, also some updates for photo features, but still unclear if the GH5 will get higher frame rates and high res mode. Now the interesting thing here, what caught my attention, why I'm I'm curious about this, why this intrigued me is I have heard back channel rumblings and 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 things being said that Panasonic is on the edge of or about to release a there's a great things coming for a fix for essentially what this says, CAF, continuous autofocus. By that I mean and the rumors and rumblings I hear and you see online, if you know where to look and if you know the right people, um, that there is a fix for what essentially would be dual pixel autofocus. Panasonic's version, something uh, that would fix their autofocus for continuous autofocus that would bring it up to a level on par with dual pixel autofocus or Sony's version of that because Sony is doing it I would say as good or perhaps even better now than Canon's venerable dual pixel autofocus, which is truly uh, amazing. It's, it's, it's great. When you don't have it, you really find you miss it. For those of us that use this type of autofocus, granted, some people with what they're shooting in video and how they're shooting don't have a use for it, but it's certainly very, very handy if you're doing any type of shooting where you're a one-man show and you want to let the camera focus on you and track you or focus on your subject and track your subject uh, without you having to have another crew member doing that or pulling focus or doing it manually or whatnot. This looks very exciting to me because I'm hoping that this is indeed what this is about, what this rumor is about, that Panasonic has fixed this, that they have a fix, and that we are going to see the incredible GH5 and GH5S. I mean, these are amazing, amazing cameras. Arguably some of the best video cameras on the market, the most fully featured, most capable, most functional video cameras on the market. Um, or should I say cameras for video, because these cameras are also very capable photo cameras. But with this firmware update, hopefully we will have a competitive Panasonic, a Panasonic that has a continuous autofocus that is competitive with dual pixel AF or with Sony's version of that essentially so that that is no longer um, the kind of fail point for Panasonic because up until now, I love everything about Panasonic cameras, especially as my video cameras. I'm shooting this with the G85, love this camera. And in this situation, I don't need dual pixel AF, but it'd be really nice to be able to set the G85 up, know it would track me smoothly and accurately in any situation so I could you know answer some questions for you folks out in the park down by the river anywhere I wanted to uh, and up till now I just haven't felt that comfortable doing that without it being a situation like this where I'm in a pre-focused situation I'm using my iPad here to hit the focus and then I start recording so let's hope that's what this is um, anybody out there have any further updates or info on this one let us know in the comments below what about you guys? Um, is this as big as a thing for you as it is for me and for a lot of my friends? We're waiting for this, and I can't wait for it. Uh, hopefully, it'll come to the G85 in a firmware update as well, uh, because to me, this is the one Achilles heel of Panasonic. But do you guys feel the same way? Let me know in the comments below. Is this something that's held you or blocked you or stopped you from getting a Panasonic? Because you looked at Canon's dual pixel AF or Sony's equivalent and you went, oh, they can do that better. Let me know in the comments below. How important is this to you? What do you think about it? Uh, what do you think of this rumor? Looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.